Welcome back to the Sheffield Wednesday Career Mode here on Dexterity Box. This is the final episode of the season, so if you are not caught up, go catch up. Uh, make sure you are keeping 70 likes coming on these videos as well because we will be wrapping up this championship season. And um, the sooner you get the likes on this video, the sooner we get the start of the next season, which will either be a Premier League season or another championship season, but we are going to find out either way today. Let's get going. So we are obviously going to be starting this off with a Steel City derby. So hopefully, I don't play abysmally like I did last time. Sorry about that. I'll try and redeem myself. We have got Vardy to come off the bench in this as well. So again, I can't not start Adebayo because of his form this season has been ridiculous. He's probably got my vote for player of the season, if I'm honest. Wilkes has been incredible, but Adebayo has been revolutionary for us in transforming the the front line for us really because Michael Smith has obviously been a legend but Adebayo has, has took what he did in this system and just amplified it into the championship oh god don't concede thank you oh we're going to concede oh what a save Adebayo plays it off for Knight Knight tries to get it through for Brun Larson. That doesn't happen. I am convinced Dyke's deal was not a great shout because I thought he was going to play a lot better than he did. I've conceded already. What am I doing? Not now. Struggled this season, United, as well. And I'm letting him score against me. Oh, God. Oh, what a save, Forster. I didn't want to panic there. Brun Larson. Oh, what a skill is that? Good ball for Adebayo as well. Adebayo, can he finesse one? He can't, but he's through. The keeper did not do well enough. And Wednesday are back on level terms at Hillsborough in the Steel City derby. Adebayo again. The keeper should have done better there, really, for United. But that's what we wanted from him. Fans are going mad. I tried to finesse it here. He's not quite got the finesse shot, as you can tell. But the keeper only got a hand to it, which meant we could bury it. Brun Larson. Can he do something again there? He made it happen last time, but not that time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Torre's been immense. I know Wilkes is a given, but there's three players that have stood out for me this season. Our defence has not been good enough for me to probably give player of the season to a defender. But... As Wilkes is just dancing. But Torre has been good. You know, our defence in general, it, we've been split a few times. But if, if you think of defenders, Torre has made some really good challenges. Ayn has been solid as well. It's just mainly been the other side I've been having some issues with. That's why I brought in Dyke still to try and plug that. But that didn't end up happening so far. Four million pound waste there, maybe. Try and recoup some. I thought he was going to play a lot better than he did. Than he has been playing. It's early days with him, but... Mm. Uh-oh. Torre again. He's becoming such a player for us. They love that through ball. Torre, just behave, mate. Absolute machine. Wilkes to Adebayo. Good save. Half time. I'm going to shift it around a little bit. I'm not actually going to do it at half time. I'm going to change to our 4 2 4 formation and um, make an attacking change, bring Vardy on. Who's the player that stays forward in this? No, oh, it's not saved it. Excellent. Love that. Vardy's going to stay forward. Adebayo can do a bit more of the running. Torre again. What a player. Adebayo. Plays it through for Vardy. Is this going to work like just like I wanted it to? Vardy! He'd love a goal against these. Wilkes. Tried from the corner. Couldn't quite execute it. Oh, Britain. Solid. Adebayo, go on, get Vardy through. Vardy! Yes! You know he's loving that. You know he's loving that. Vardy's just done a backflip. He's loving that. He's loving it. 2-1.
Good lad. Adebayo there. It's not great defending from United there, but we will take it. And Vardy does not miss that. Nine to Brun Larson. Adebayo to Vardy. Vardy. Through here. Vardy. No. Adebayo maybe? Yes. This is much better. Maybe next season I find a way of getting... We change the formation and put Adebayo and Vardy up front together. We maybe we might play this 4-2-4 from the off. It might be a little bit too attack heavy for the Premier League. That's my only issue with it. But it does work. Vardy's obviously going to be on the decline. He will be 38 next season. Adebayo to Vardy. Come on, Vardy. Your turn for a brace. Nah, he hasn't he hasn't got the staying power to be able to to run all the way through like that. They're gonna give the free kick there, aren't they? Yep. Yeah, with Wang Tai, it was he wasn't convincing me too much, but Dyke Steel's not done himself any favours coming in like that. Count Adebayo, get a hat trick. Oh, it's off the bar. Post even. Still technically a bar. Wang Tai, good work. Torre again cleaning up. It's got to be between those three, hasn't it? Wilkes, Adebayo, and um, Torre for player of the season. There'll be a couple more in there. Make sure you comment who you would like in the um, in the poll, because I can only put five players in there. There's Callum Britton, there's Knight. Knight as well has had a great season for us. It's probably four there. Maybe Ina gets in there. Even if you ask me to put Vardy and he's not played enough. Well, he might. There's still, there's still more to come, but we are only in February. Careful here. Torre again. What has that man become? It's all of a sudden like this half of the season is, is really coming into his own now. He didn't quite have the pace on him before, but this could be a good goal for Vardy here to get his second. Yes. Straight over to them United fans. Why not? <laughs> I'm running all the way across. <laughs> Imagine he just ran all the way over to gloat there, by the way. Because it's 4-1. And we'll bring Deli Bashru on. Why not? Is this redeeming me from a couple of episodes ago? I hope it is. Come on, let's hold it out at 4-1. Let's not let them have another one. So we just pass it on the edge of our box. And they're going to shoot from long range. Forced to collect well. Brune Larson. Plays it across to Vardy. Vardy plays it for Adebayo. Couldn't quite do that there. That should be it, though. Yes! Sheffield Wednesday. They ain't coming up with us if we go up. So, in potentially the final Steel City derby for quite some time, Sheffield Wednesday are 4-1 victorious. 4-1 victorious. That's not even a saying. But it is now. 4-1 victorious. Sheffield Wednesday win the Steel City derby. Oh, um, okay. So, my performance is under review. Why, FIFA? Why, man? Why? This is our German scout report coming back. No. 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 All terrible. It's in the match against Blackburn. One all. Forest just keep putting points on the board. They're going to be so hard to catch. Can we get a result against Millwall on the sim? 3-1. Yep. It's back in. Let's do these interviews just in case they do help with morale at all. Yeah, the players are happy, so it's not a problem. Should do all right against Birmingham on the quick sim. Oh, no. <sighs> 2.7 million uh, keeper there, by the way. So I think that solves our keeper problem in the Youth Academy. One all against Preston. I might have to start playing some of these again. I just want to get through the season, man. Because we're not going to win the league. Because Forrest just keep putting points on the board every time. Every time. Look at them. Yeah, they're on 86 points and they've got a game in hand. Right, let's see if I can play the highlights and actually get a result. Because I want to get through the season today, but I also don't have like four hours to play all these matches. But I can do the highlight system, which is why we can have a bit more of an in-depth career. Get it out. Oh, it's just all going to be Stoke opportunities because this game loves Stoke City. Oh, look, another Stoke City. I've not had a highlight yet. We're not amazing at crossing that. I, I passed that way earlier. What was with that button lag? Oh, we got a penalty. All right, I'll take that. Wilkes has not been amazing with his last few. Yes, better. Thank you. They're going to give them a penalty, though. Yeah, I knew it. They can't just not. <laughs> oh, 
I nearly said something. Um, no. We save that, though. So you'll have to give him another one now, won't you? No, we get the win. Come on. They really tried to make sure Stoke got in it there. There are 92 points, man. Right, we beat him on the simulation last time. Can we do the same again? No, the, the, title, the, the title was never an option, right? I'd have had to win absolutely everything, and Forrest aren't dropping any steam. So it wasn't going to happen. 3-1 win on the sim against Borough. That's not bad. We're 10 points behind him, and they've got a game in hand. It's, it's hard. Youth player unsettled. Who's this? Burgess. Who's Burgess? I have no idea. Well, he's 58 overall, so he can be unsettled somewhere else. Sim the match against Norwich. I don't really want to play it because a lot of our players are on international duty because it's done that thing. Wilkes gets a goal. 1-0 win for Wednesday. I'm not doing the youth academy thing, guys. We will look at some monthly scout reports, though. They were all terrible on the English front. Wilkes, you're not moaning now, surely. Oh, yeah, thank you. Richardson, 74 overall. He's a good player. He's just... Mate, all right, I'm going to convert him to a winger because I don't play with a centre forward and he can probably, yeah, he can move to the wing, make him a left winger. 10 points behind and there's only 15 points to play for. It's not going to happen. They'd have to lose. It's not going to happen. So I'm just quick simming. 3-1 win for Wednesday. Wilkes, Bar, Laser and Knight. They've got 99 points, have Forrest. It's ridiculous. I'm going to do all these conferences because I can't afford negative morale. I don't think this one affects you anymore, actually. Oh, no, it does. I thought they took the pre-ones away from affecting morale. We are going to quick sim it, though. These players, they, just, they should be putting results. They are. They keep putting results. Ad Wilkes and Adebayo Brace. It's going to be hard to pick a player of the season. I'm glad I'm, I just present the options, guys, because it's difficult this season. Kuna can change position in the Youth Academy. The Youth Academy is looking quite healthy, to be fair. There's some really good players that could come through here. If, if they'd only just give me a bit more time with the uh, Youth Academy report, we might have been able to bring some players through. Vardy, I know you're on the decline and you are in contention, man, but like, I signed you thinking Adebayo would drop off. He's not dropped off. You're 37. Let's see if uh, Richardson goes up when you change his position. Yeah, 75. Good. We can start working on some other bits of him now. It's going to give Forster a new deal so he doesn't sign somewhere else. He's, he's on the decline, but I don't care. He's a good he's a good keeper. He's a good shot stopper. Give him another year. He'll take that. Take a pay cut. Stay for another year. Sim the match against Wigan. 1-0 win with a Wilkes goal. Yeah, they've, they've kept pace with us. We are promoted, by the way. Yay. Um, But we're actually Premier League. That's amazing. It is amazing. It should be more of a reaction, but it's. I kind of could know this was coming because we've been fantastic. But Forest have got 105 points. It's ridiculous. There's no way we were catching them. Right, let's start sending some scout reports out. I'm gonna just wipe them all and sign some more for next season. I'm just changing all of the uh, scout reports so we can freshen it up. Going, we're putting world class on there now as well. So we are, we are looking for the freeze for Premier League. Send the match against Swansea City. They get a 2 0 win on us. That's probably not going to go well because the board are itching for a reason to sack me. They just sacked me. Right, here's what's happening. I'm reloading the save because that's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous, right? We know that's ridiculous. I'm going to reload the save because that's FIFA doing a stupid FIFA thing. If you think that's cheating, let me know and I will, I will literally just stop the career mode after this season, this episode, if you think that's cheating. We are promoted and they're going to sack me. It's not going to happen, is it? So I've managed to re-roll all the way back to that Swansea match and we drew it one all. And they've not sacked me. I just... I hate this game. that They've had this thing in for a few years where 
because of the Youth Academy thing and the FA Cup goal, which is an unrealistic target, right? Because it's not football. That is where it becomes a video game. I try and keep these career modes realistic, and realistically, you don't sack a manager who's second in the championship and promoted. You don't do it. But because of that stupid domestic success being the low, and it's this youth development one, right? Okay, I'm not agreeing with the club's vision, but I did. I developed a youth player and sold him for £100 million. It's ridiculous. It just winds me up. Got to convert Jay Richardson again. Also got to give uh, Forrester a contract. Right, I have to play Derby County because it's probably the last time we're going to play them for a long time. And it feels like as a game I should play, it should be the pinnacle one I really play. Has he got 27 goals out of Bayer? What a player. They might still terminate my contract at the end of the season. If that happens, it will have. this will have to turn into a journeyman career mode and we'll have to try and get the Wednesday job back at some point. Um, Because, yeah, I don't know what else I'd do. Like, the the reason I'm being funny about it is because this ha if this happened last season, the last career mode, I would have changed it and just gone around different teams and it would have been a laugh, bringing in players and things like that. But because it's the last FIFA... I really do want a proper road to glory with Wednesday, and I can't be bothered with that. And also, um, well, he's offside. It's fine. But I just can't be bothered with it. FIFA doing FIFA things. Maybe it will be good for it to go. <laughs> Keeps doing that. Adebayo. Adebayo, heavy touch to Wilkes. Wilkes plays it through for Adebayo. Adebayo for a power shot. Adebayo rolls that power shot. And what a goal that is. What a player he has been this season. Adebayo against Derby. Look at this. Power shots it. Smashes it straight into that corner. Definitely one I recommend you sign if you're doing a Sheffield Wednesday career. You've probably already gone through your career at this stage. But um, I will say this is probably the furthest I've gone before December. Which is... Pretty good. We've been getting the episodes at a rapid pace. Zadebeo's through here. Can he get a brace? We'll go for the chip. He doesn't usually score chips. That's why I don't chip with him, because that chip is not ideal. I don't think every player can chip on this anymore. That's why probably why Vardy says chip shot. Knight. Can Knight score against his former club? Good save. Is that Wildsmith again? Knight. Plays it through to Adebayo for his second. That's a good block on the line there. Bar laser. Bar laser. Good save to Adebayo. Adebayo plays it on for Knight. Knight, can he score against Derby County? He can. I'm having him celebrating as well. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Jason Knight celebrates against Derby County. They've done enough pain to me this career mode, and now we are on top. Oh, Brune Larson to Adebayo. Did Brune Larson stay on side there? If he did, this could be a beautiful goal. Please tell me he's on side, because that's beautiful. He is. Brune Larson with the chip. I thought he'd just run offside here. Looks it slightly. Must be kept on. And then Brune Larson. He can chip a ball. Adebayo can't. Giant steal to Knight. Knight plays it through to Adebayo. What a ball that is. Adebayo on his left foot this time. It's a brace. Too easy. Put on Vardy. He's dropped down to 78. With Adebayo doing what Adebayo does, it had been wrong to bring, even though we spent money on Vardy, the whole point was promotion. Making sure we brought a player like that in so we had a player of class that could motivate the entire squad and ensure we did cross the finish line and get promoted, and that's what we've done. Oh, that's a decent goal for Derby, that. Didn't think they'd actually get it through, but they did. Oh, oh. I can't switch off against them. Oh, God, they're doing it again. They've changed system. We've changed system as well, which doesn't help. Adebayo's through here. Some great passing from Wednesday. Can Adebayo get an hat trick? He can. And that's where you're substituting because he's got his hat trick. No need for him on that pitch anymore. Let's bring Michael Smith on because Michael Smith loves a goal. And he's about to retire. And he's 63 overall. So let's bring him on now. Uh, Adebayo's got his hat trick. Smith holds it up. Plays it through perfectly for Vardy there. Maybe he can get an assist. Go on then, Vardy. Smash it in. Good save. Vardy. Vardy played through by Smith. Vardy this time. Oh, it's just over. Smith has, Smith has completely lost it. He's trying, but he can't retain the ball. <laughs> I'm glad he ended his career here, though, because um, usually I release players before their heyday. Just let them go on a free and play somewhere else or 
sell them, but Michael Smith we've kept and he's actually retired here, like Barry Bannon, so... The last time we're playing Derby for a while, I do believe, unless we get them in the cup and we beat them 5-2. That is a career mode rival that has been buried, finally. None of these players' contracts are running out. Oh, Nobel, remember Nobel? I remember saying his name when he was our keeper. Scout report on Clark Salter. I've just sent a scout report out for him. 74 overall. Mm, probably not good enough for us. Last match of the season against Coventry. Let's quick sim it and hope we win it because we'll probably get sacked. But I'm going to roll the dice because I can't be bothered. 2-0 win. Adebayo and Wilkes. Fantastic. Don't sack me. Right? We can't win the league. But just saying, we got 100 points. 100 points. Forest winning the league with 108. We got 100 points. We were 20, We were 15 points clear of the playoffs. What a team this team is with Stoke, West Brom, Norwich and Bristol City making up the playoffs. I will see there's that centre-back 22 years old for Norwich. If they don't go up by the playoffs, I am... And I still might do it. I am Robin, their, uh, that that player of theirs, who got relegated. Barnsley, QPR and Peterborough. But we are a Premier League side, so that's going to be uh, quite interesting. Let's have a look at some players we can sign now and use some of this budget before they take it all off me. Got a lot of your suggestions in here, actually. Actually, Sonny, I'm going to make before we get promoted is from um, Southampton. Bella Kochap is one of the players that you suggested. If we go in with the budget we've still got this season, we should be able to get him. Let's try and save 15, see what they say. Oh, I could probably go in for cheaper again. That'll annoy the board, but I need to spend some of this money so they don't take it all off me upon promotion. Important player. He wants crucial, that's fine. He will go in there because I do need a centre-back to go next to Torre next season. I might sign a couple. There's a couple that could end up on freeze. Let's do him a five-year deal. Let's do 30 grand a week. 700 grand signing bonus. Amazing. Centre back from Southampton. That'll be a great signing for us for next season. 15 million. It's a pretty standard signing. An F. I could have saved 5 million. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. That is bad. Okay, that I agree. I admit that's bad. He, 15 million to me he is, though. Could I ever say 5 million on that? Are you taking Mick a little bit there? You are a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Right, at the end of the season here, I was going to look at a load of players and sign some players. I'm just not going to do it because... This might be a shorter episode because of that, because of the sacking situation. But I just need to get to the... What are you doing? I've just got... I've just got us promoted, guys. And they've sacked me. Oh, no, they haven't. I thought they'd sacked me. It's a job offer. Oh, no, it isn't. They've sacked me. This game. I don't know what to do. What do I do? I can take QPR. It's career mode over, guys. I can't do anything. They've sat me. I've built that team. And I can't get back in it. What a stupid way to end. I'm going to try and reload a few saves, roll a few dices. The, uh, the foot game footage is going to go off here because I'm going to need to keep reloading the save and see what I can do. But this is, this is ridiculous. I might go through, release some players, see if there's anything I can do, because there's no way a team gets promoted and they sack the manager. It just doesn't ha It doesn't... It doesn't happen! This is going to be financial suicide, but I'm releasing players like Fafana. Anyone who's got even a potential sadness next to their face. Yeah, they sacked me again. I want an offer better than QPR. Is QPR's the only offer. Can I go back in and look at other jobs and take another job, maybe? Let's wait for them to sack me again. No, it is QPR is the only option that's coming up. So I'm going to go in and look if there's any other... Because if there's any other jobs available other than QPR... Why would I only be offered a bottom of the, pre a bottom of the championship job when I've just got a team out of there? I, I, I honestly don't understand. I, the only thing I can think I could potentially do is get a team, drag them to the Premier League, 
and try and get my job back at Wednesday, they might get relegated again. But then it, it advances like two seasons before we get anywhere decent. They'll probably sell all the players that I've been working with. I, I am just racking my brain to think what I could do right now to fix this. Because I don't cheat. I don't make multiple saves. Like, I don't really want to do that. It feels wrong. Right. There are no managerial jobs opening. I'm going to have to take that QPR job. Right, before I do this, I'm going to buy Wednesday a load of players and try and make sure they stay in the Premier League. And then just try and get the club back. Because I might end the career mode here, guys, because it's stupid, to be honest. But let's try and get, like, Soler and people like that and actually make sure they're a team that could do half well when they get up. It's all your player suggestions. So this Sheffield Wednesday team are going to go on, but I'm possibly not going to be the manager. Come on, you'll do a £20 million deal. Got Solar in on a three-year deal. It's going to be a hell of a team. Maybe I can sort of do a sim to glory and see where Wednesday end up, maybe. I don't know. I actually... He's 80 overall, is he? He could have saved £4.3 million. I don't care. You're going to sack me anyway. I'm going to make all my transfers in a day. So this Wednesday team actually have a chance of staying up if I'm ever going to get him back. Let's go for Shalabert. £20 million again. Cool. Defenders are what's needed, to be honest. 50 grand a week. Can't do the bonus. Even 50 grand a week is fine. These are players that I would have potentially signed next season anyway. See, I'm trying to set them up. I could just be bitter and take all their players from them, but I'm not doing that to Wednesday. I'm going to go for this Okoye, which is a keeper that you guys suggested to me from Wolfsburg. 15 million. I'm going to make him crucial so they actually play him over the other keepers. Amazing. How much money have we got left? Probably not a lot. I've spent quite a bit there. Uh, I, that's without even my Premier League budget. 13 million left. Let's bring one more in if we can. Let's bring in Scott Twine from Burnley. Making him an important player. Just so there's players there that can, you know, have a chance of... keep. Wednesday will get relegated, but I need him in a position to go straight back up if I'm going to be able to take back control. That's If I can take back control, that's the issue. Right, Scott Twine's in. I hope they stay up. I've got to try and now bloody get QPR up next season. <sighs> All right, let's get the sack. You ready? There it is. Thank you very much. And I'm just starting at QPR because I've got no choice. Two grand a week. Join us next episode to find out what happens and where we're going to take this career mode. But please moan along with me in the comments. There will be another There will be another episode on this. We'll decide what we're going to do, whether it's just a combination of me sat here going, what am I doing? And then it ends. But I tried, guys. It's this game. FIFA 23 going out on a bang but for now guys as always thank you so much for watching please like subscribe do all those things and keep watching right here on dexterity box